Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGATTECH. So as promised, this is the guide for installing the Global ROM on the Chinese version of the ROG Phone 2. So let's get right to it. Okay, first off, there are a couple of things you have to make sure or you have to prepare on the phone itself. Let's go to the settings. Alright, and you have to make sure uh, on the developer options, you've got USB debugging uh, enabled. You need in order to install the global ROM. And also one thing to take note is you have to make sure that you have your Google account signed out. Right. Okay, so if you guys know, this is the Chinese version now. So you have the Asus app, Chinese Asus App Store here. All right. So what you need to do is you turn it off. All right. So you have to go into fast boot mode. So to do that, you press the volume up and the power button at the same time. And then release the power button once you see it. So you actually just have to stay on this uh, screen. And in order to uh, flash it, you need to actually use the side mounted USB. So don't plug it into that colored one. There's, there's actually two here. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Uh, you just plug it in on the black one. So I'll plug it in now. Alright, and that's all you need to do on the phone. So um, once you plug it in to, into your laptop or your desktop, it should be in, it should auto install your uh, fast boot drivers. So yes, have to wait for that. Okay, so I've loaded the web page where they provided a guide to convert the Chinese to the global version. So you can actually follow this as well, but I'll guide you through the steps so you don't have to. Uh, if you don't understand it that well, then yeah, just follow my guide. All right. And they provided the, the firmware files here, so you've got a link to the international ROM and the Chinese uh, version ROM. So actually, I've already flashed, if you've seen my previous videos, I already put, flashed it to the global ROM. So I flashed it back to the Chinese version, so I can show you guys how to do it from scratch again. Alright, you don't have to worry about the uh, unlocking the bootloader, since this, these are all official firmware. So you don't, we can actually uh, forego uh, unlocking the bootloader. You just have to install it right away. All right. So once th these are downloaded, I extracted it to. Uh, so I put it into a folder, ROG to lead it. So th this is what you're gonna see. So this is uh, what you should be uh, concerned about. That is actually the f the raw firmware for the global ROM. So. Worldwide, I'm not sure if that's it. Um, it means international then. So you just have to open uh, command prompt. Make sure you run it as admin. Okay. Then it's in uh, ROG2 latest, so just a matter of going there. Okay. And then just type in dir or directory. And you can see everything is in there. So um, what you need to uh, run is the flash all AMD. So you just have to type that in. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see once you run it. So don't worry if you don't see any progress bar, it just stays in the screen for a couple of minutes and the phone will auto reboot by itself and I think that's, that's all you need to do. One tip here is to do a factory reset so you might have some applications left over from your Chinese ROM so you make to ensure that it doesn't get carried over to the global ROM, you do a factory reset. Alright, then you're going to come across flash complete. 
so you can see that it auto rebooted the phone itself so actually that's it um, we are now on the global ROM so you, it's safe to remove the USB cable now okay, let me just unlock that for you guys all right so if you see here, yeah, this is the global version. This is the same uh, on that video I uploaded a couple of weeks back. So let's pick English. So you've got all the languages now supported internationally. So yeah, of course, I don't understand any of those other languages. So let's just pick English. And then that's it. And that's going to be the same setup. So let's just, uh, I'll just pause the screen here and then just go through it real quick. Okay, don't copy for now. Okay, let's skip the sign in. Oh, I recommend skipping the account setup for now. Sometimes it causes an issue with video recording. So I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen when you boot, uh, when you flash the global ROM. And let's pick the classic, you know. And there you go, your Chinese Tencent ROG2 phone is now running the Google ROM. Got Google Pay, um, rumored to be working. Uh, fortunately, we don't have that here in the Philippines no uh, place where we can actually try to use it so let's go to the system and it does show you now this is the global version uh, one thing to note guys OT unfortunately OTA doesn't work when you uh, install this global ROM so you actually have to flash the firmware or the, the zip update files uh, manually shouldn't take much time to do it you just have to download that zip file from the ASUS website Put it on anywhere on your phone, just copy it over to your phone and then restart it and it should pick up that there's an update uh, waiting to be installed. As simple as that. So that's it for now guys. If you've successfully run it, congratulations on getting your global ROM on your Chinese style Tencent version and hope you enjoy it. As usual guys, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification and see you all on my next one.